Good afternoon, my dear students from Ashtar Private Secondary School for Girls. This is again your teacher of English, Rima Tai. I welcome you again in our new lesson, which is the past simple and the past continuous. الماضي البسيط والماضي المستمر. Past simple الماضي البسيط. We often use time adverbials with the past simple. غالبا ما نستعمل الظروف الزمنية مع هذا الزمن زمن الماضي البسيط. Just like yesterday, last week, two months ago, in a 2004. The forms. We come to the first type of sentences, which is the affirmative sentences. الجمل المثبتة. You have to begin your sentence by putting the subject, الفاعل, plus main verb, الفعل الرئيسي, plus complement. What do we mean by the main verb? It is the past simple, الماضي البسيط. Either it is regular, منتظم, verb, plus ed, or irregular. Verb to be. Was or where? Just like Sara went to school yesterday. Sara is the subject. Went is the main verb, which is irregular. هذا الفعل الرئيسي والذي يعتبر غير منتظم أو غير قياسي. To school yesterday, the complement of the sentence. Yesterday is one of the adverb. That we can use with this tense. Number two, Layla was very excited last week. Layla is the subject. Was here is verb to be, and it is the main verb at the same time because it is the only verb in this sentence. Very excited last week, the complement of the sentence. يعتبر was هنا. الفعل الرئيسي والمساعد في نفس الوقت لأنه لا يوجد أي فعل آخر في هذه الجملة Now we come to the second type of sentences which is the negative sentences الجمل المنفية Your negative sentence should begin by putting the subject, followed by the auxiliary did, plus not, plus base verb, and the complement. جملة المنفية يجب أن تبدأ بالفاعل يليه الفعل المساعد did, زائد not, والفعل المصدر وتكملة الجملة. Or your negative sentence should, be, should begin by putting the subject, plus wasn't or weren't and the complement أو أن تكون الجملة المنفية تبدأ بفاعل يليه واحدة من أفعال الكينونة was not or were not وتكملة الجملة Example We didn't go to the park last night We is the subject didn't the auxiliary go the base verb, to the park last night, the complement of the sentence. Another example. Selva wasn't lucky two years ago. Selva, the subject, here in this sentence, we used verb to be, because we have an adjective here. لأنه لدينا صفة فاستخدمنا فعل الكينونة. Was a plus not. Two years ago, 
the complement of the sentence. As you all see, last night and ago are adverbs that we can use with this tense. We come to the questions. Al-As'ila. As you all know, questions are divided into two types. The first type, we call it yes, no questions. Al-As'ila allati ajubatuha tabda' bi yes or no. Either you begin your question by putting the auxiliary that plus subject plus base verb plus complement and the question mark or you begin your yes no question by putting one of these verbs verb to be was or where plus subject plus complement. For example, did they travel to Jordan last summer? Did is the auxiliary followed by the subject they and the base verb travel to Jordan last night or last summer is the complement of the question. Was he a good doctor? Was verb to be followed by the subject he a good doctor the complement of the question. Here we have an adjective, sifa, plus noun. The negative form of the past simple. Again, subject, plus did, plus not, plus the infinitive, I mean the base verb. Ellen did not visit London. Now we come to the other tense, the past continuous, al al mustamar the forms. As we all know, there are three types of sentences. We come to the first one, which is the affirmative sentences, al jumal al muthbata Our affirmative sentences should begin by putting the subject, followed by one of these verb to be was or where, the verb adding to it ing and the complement. جملتنا المثبتة يجب أن تبدأ بالفاعل. يلي هو واحدة من أفعال الكينونة was aware حسب الفاعل. والفعل الرئيسي مضاف له ing وتكملة الجملة. Example I was studying for my English exam all day yesterday. I, the subject, was plus study the main verb adding to it ing and the complement of the sentence. The second example, they were playing computer games with their friends. They, the subject, followed by verb to be where, the verb play adding to it ing and the complement of the sentence. Sometimes we call the past continuous tense the progressive tense. Example, I was watching TV when she called. Was watching the past continuous. Now we come to the negative sentences in the past continuous. The subject first, followed by one of verb to be wasn't or weren't, was not, were not, plus verb adding to it ing and the complement. الجملة المنفية يجب أن تبدأ بالفاعل يليها واحد من أفعال الكينونة was not, wasn't, were not, weren't. الفعل مضاف له ing وتكملة الجملة المنفية. For example, Huda wasn't driving very fast. Huda is the subject. Wasn't verb to be. Driving, the verb adding to it ing and the complement. My friends weren't watching their favorite movie. 
my friends the subject which is a plural so it took verb to be weren't plus watch adding to it ing and the complement of the sentence we come to the questions al asila the first type yes no questions You should begin yes, no question by putting one of the auxiliaries, verb to be, was, or where, plus subject, plus verb, adding to it ing and the complement of the question. يجب أن تبدأ الجملة الاستفهامية التي جوابها يبدأ ب yes أو no. ب واحدة من أفعال الكينونة was or where يليه الفاعل والفعل مضاف له ing وتكملة السؤال Was Ali sleeping well all night yesterday? Was verb to be Ali is the subject Sleeping Sleep is the verb adding to it ing and the complement of the question Were Noor and Huda preparing well for their exams? Where Verb to be, Noor and Huda, the subject, which is a plural, Jana. Preparing, prepare plus ing, and the complement of the question. If we look again at the three types of sentences, the first one, the affirmative, subject, plus was or where, the verb and the ing, she was cooking all morning. The second type, is the negative subject plus was or where plus not the verb adding to it ing she wasn't sleeping when he came home and the second type the question was or where plus subject plus verb adding to it ing and the question mark was she sleeping when he came home The second type of questions, which is the WH questions. You should begin your question by putting one of the question words, followed by was or where, the subject, the verb, adding to it ing, and the complement, and the question mark. يجب أن نبدأ بوضعنا لواحدة من كلمات السؤال ومن ثم الفعل المساعد was aware, الفاعل. الفعل مضاف له ing وتكملة السؤال. For example, where was Ahmed going? Where? The question word was plus subject Ahmed and the main verb go adding to it ing. The second example, what were they doing? Now let us take the two tenses in the same sentence, the past simple and the past continuous. We often use the past continuous and the past simple in the same sentence with the two linking words while or when. غالبا ما نستعمل زمن الماضي المستمر وزمن الماضي البسيط في الجملة ذاتها أي في نفس الجملة. باستعمال الكلمات الرابطة while بينما أو when عندما And here is the rule Past simple plus while plus past continuous إذا وضعنا while في منتصف الجملة يجب أن تلحق بزمن الماضي المستمر وتسبق بالماضي البسيط أما إذا وضعناها في بداية الجملة يجب أن تلحق أيضا بالماضي المستمر ومن ثم الماضي البسيط. Past continuous plus when plus past simple إذا وضعنا when عندما في منتصف الجملة يجب أن تلحق بالماضي البسيط وتسبق بالماضي المستمر. أما إذا جاءت في بداية الجملة فيجب أيضا أن تلحق بالماضي البسيط ومن ثم الماضي المستمر. 
For example, what were you doing when I knocked the door? هنا لدينا سؤال. بدأ بكلمة السؤال what. يجب أن يلحق بالفعل المساعد where لأن الفاعل you. الفعل الرئيسي do مضاف له ing والكلمة الرابطة when ومن ثم فاعل آخر والفعل في حالة الماضي البسيط ثمن الكلمة الرابطة وين يأتي بعدها ماضي بسيط knocked طرقت the door the complement of the question the second example while she was sleeping the telephone rang بدأنا جملتنا بوضعنا في الكلمة الرابطة while ومن ثم الفاعل she الفعل في حالة الماضي المستمر was sleeping الفارزة هنا the telephone الفاعل الآخر والفعل في حالة الماضي البسيط rang the past tense of the verb ring Now dear girls let us take this exercise I sit in the garden yesterday afternoon when I see a man in my neighbor's garden. He wear a black jacket and uh, dark jeans. While I watch him, he open my neighbor's window and climb into her house. Of course, I call the police immediately. While I wait for the police, my neighbor sent me a message. My cousin David is, is staying with me at the moment. He lose his keys while he travel on the train this morning. Can you help him? Now, if we look at the first two sentences, it is joined by the linking word when. الجملتين أو الجملتان الأولى والثانية ربطت بالكلمة الرابطة when. As we said, مثل ما قلنا, يجب أن تسبق بالفعل الماضي المستمر وتلحق بالماضي البسيط وأيضا الفعل C هو فعل non-action verb state verb هذا الفعل ساكن إذا تصبح الجملتان I was sitting in the garden yesterday afternoon when I saw sitting of course you should put double T and ING لأن لدينا حرف إلا واحد وصحيح واحد يجب أن يضاعف الحرف الصحيح ونضيف ing أما الفعل سي فيصبح سو so في حالة الماضي البسيط He wear a black jacket and dark jeans Of course He was wearing كان مستمرا مرتديا جاكيت لونها أسود jeans aswad while we have here in the fourth sentence the linking word while so what should we put in this blank of course past continuous madhi mustamar while i was watching him he the other verb should be in the past simple يجب ان يكون الفعل الاخر في حاله الماضي البسيط he opened my neighbor's window and ونفس الزمن الماضي البسيط and declined into her house of course I called the police immediately اتصلت بالبوليس على الحال while past continuous yes while I was waiting for the police بينما أنا كنت في انتظار البوليس my neighbor yes this verb should be in the past simple sent the past tense of the verb send me a message. My cousin David is staying with me at the moment. He, of course, lost his keys because we have here while. You should put this verb in the past simple and the other verb in the past continuous. While he was traveling on the train this morning, can you help him? Dear girls, this is the end of our lecture today. I hope that you have understood it well. Hoping 
to see you in our next lecture. Thank you for paying attention.